What am I witnessing right now? Have Manchester United just announced the appointments of two technical directors inside the club? I did not expect this to happen. This is the best surprise announcement you could possibly ask for. Restructuring of the club's power. We've needed it for a long, long time. This is sort of a reaction video because it's, it's breaking as I'm talking about it. But I want to run through the initial bit of news with you. The press release said Manchester United is pleased to announce the promotion of John Murto to football director and T Darren Fletcher to technical director. Two new roles that will further strengthen the club's football operations. Now, what will John's job be? John will have an overall leadership and responsibility for operations and strategy across all football functions at the club. Now, that's a bit of a, a press statement release, but let's look into that in a bit more detail. As football director, John Murto will work day-to-day -day with Solskjaer to align recruitment and other strategies and to ensure that the first team has best-in-class operational support it needs to succeed. And speaking about the appointment, John said, it's a privilege to be part of that process and an honour to lead United's football department, working alongside Ollie, Casey and so many other truly outstanding staff. Jeez. United have actually restructured the club. Now, I suppose the, the main question that all of you are going to have really is, what does that mean for Ed Woodward? And what does that mean for Matt Judge? For Matt Judge, it means a, a switch of position. He was, was it head of corporate development before? He's now going to be director of football negotiations. So he's still going to be in charge of, maybe not in charge as such, but involved in the negotiation process. That's an issue. That's still an issue. But he, he will now report to John Murtaugh above him and not Ed Woodward. That's a big switch and a big change. And in terms of Darren Fletcher, welcome aboard Darren. It's another internal appointment, I suppose, given that, given Fletcher's links with United, but I've got a lot of time for Fletcher. And I'll be interested to see what, let's read about his role a little bit more. So Darren will work closely with John to add technical input and direction into all football and performance areas. He will focus on a coordinated and long-term approach to player and squad development, helping maintain, helping maintain the integral link between the academy and the first team aligned with Manchester United's values and cultures. So we've got two appointments there. We've got John Murtaugh. He came in under Moyes, has been at the club for seven years. Everybody inside United have a, has a lot of time for him and he's earned this promotion clearly from inside to be the director of football. And then you've got Darren Fletcher, who's the technical director. So they're going to be working to complement each other. But the important thing here is the restructuring of power and the removal of people from certain things, such as Ed Woodward, who is now not going to be involved as much in the day-to-day. -day. He won't be sticking his hand in. Sure, he's still going to have probably, too, I would argue, too much power at the club in terms of the overall decisions that are being made. But they're not going to be decisions that he's led. They're going to be decisions that John and Darren now will have more day-to-day -day control of, and they will work far closer with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer than Ed Woodward would anymore, or Matt Judge. They're still going to be presiding towards the top end of the power, but in terms of the actual running and the decision-making, that's been taken away from them in the day in a day-to-day -day basis, and that's been the issue because the direction of the club has never been consistent. We've U-turned. We've gone from Van Hal to Mourinho. We've gone from Moyes to Van Hal. We've gone from signing Di Maria to not spending. It's been up and down and there's been no stable direction at Manchester United for so long. And it wasn't the modern structure of a modern football club. That has changed today. And that is huge. And whether or not John and Darren work out in the long, long term, it doesn't matter because today is a watershed moment for Manchester United as a football club because it takes we've taken power away from Woodward and Judge. Maybe not the overall power of decision as such because they're still going to be the Glazers' puppets and they're still going to do that. But in terms of the running of the day-to-day -day processes, they won't be involved, anywhere near as involved anymore. And the right football people in John, in Darren, in Solskjaer, in Carrick, in McKenna, they're going to be far better suited and geared towards helping United as a football club first and foremost. And my God, this is, this is, as I said, this is huge. This is arguably as important, if not more important than signing the player that we want to sign in the summer because the structure of the club has been wrong for so long. But today we've changed it and I'm buzzing about that. Let me know what your reaction is. Now, obviously, this is just a reaction video to the news, so I haven't really gone into this in too much detail. I'm going to do a follow-up on this video with far more detail about John Murto, the roles that he's had at United, and why he's been promoted in to this director of football, and a bit about 
Darren Fletcher's sort of uh, coaching attributes and why he would be considered a good appointment as technical director. But just that, just the sheer idea that United have taken this step forward that we've needed to do so for so long as a club, so long we've needed this to, to remove just the overall dictatorship, I would call it, of Woodward and Judge and to move them into, look, we haven't stripped them of all their roles. We've put them in a particular position. So Matt Judge now is going to be reporting to John instead of Ed Woodward. And that's a huge thing because it means that the person above Matt Judge now is a football person. So the decisions will not always simply be because of the bottom line of the numbers. It means that when it gets to that negotiation process and we're trying to haggle over two million for Sancho or four million for Haaland or any other player now, it won't be Matt Judge going to Ed and all they care about is numbers. So they're just going to keep squeezing. You might go to John Murtaugh who now says, look, as a club, we need this player. And it's far more valuable for us to spend that extra five million and get that player in now than lose him. So pay that money. Let's get that player. Let's draw a line under it and let's move on. And we can get a different direction as a club. I'm just, I'm just excited because I've always known that the, the core of the problems at United have never laid with the manager. They've laid with the structure of the club and it's why progress has always been so, so difficult. And why it's always been one step forward and two steps back. But today is not only one step forward. It's like 10 leaps forward. Because every decision that's been made previously, it's now got a different process to go through. It's now got people looking at that decision from a footballing perspective. A Manchester United football club has come back today by a comparison of how we've been for a long time. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be a miracle overnight because it won't. It's a, it's a huge job. That John's at sort of the first director of football we've had and, and Darren Fletcher is going to be the first technical director but it's the club openly admitting now that the structure hasn't been working and things need to change and things have changed and now we've got two appointments basically both from within but we've got fucking appointments man and I've been waiting so long for this so many videos I've done on a technical director all of a sudden we've got two in one day <laughs> loving that so let me know what your reaction is to the news in the comments below. As I said, I'm going to follow up on this video with a proper analysis of John and Darren, what their roles are, what the restructuring is, what Matt Judge and Ed Woodward's positions now are. But we'll do that after. Make sure you drop a like on the video. And I really want to know what your reaction to this news is in the comments below. But for me, it's one of the most important bits of news that have come out of United in a long, long time. And it's good news. Hopefully this can be... This can start the, the era of, of a different set of directions that we're taking as a football club behind the scenes with all the decisions we're making now. It won't simply be from a corporate stronghold. And that was a huge hurdle that we needed to get over as a club. And we've got over it today. So happy days.